Hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching Forutech. Finally Paranoid Android team has released the new update Topaz 2 for Nothing Phone 1 on 23rd of April which has implemented fully working Glyph along with the music visualizer, performance and stability improvement with the new kernel sources. So I flashed the latest update please refer the video given under the video description for flashing of this new ROM. Today we will do the full review of all the Glyph features, I did full performance and stability comparison of current build with the last update, I checked all the previous issues are they fixed or not in this build along with the camera review. Finally I shown some bugs so watch the video till the end, now without further ado, let's get started. Phone booted to the legendary ROM Paranoid Android Topaz 2. Well, we did some previous builds reviews. There we tested is the daily driver build or not along with the all the features. You can check that videos from the links given under the video description. Now let's jump to the about phone to check the details of this new update. ROM is updated straight to Paranoid Android Topaz 2. Under Android version, it's still based on the Android 13 with the same material clock list rake. Security patch is updated to the 5th April 2023. Canaver gen is AOSPA 5.4.2.3. Build date is showing the 15th April but actually ROM is released on the 23rd of April. So ROM is based on the all the latest Android 13 release candidate sources. Let's first check out the performance. Paranoid is a pure AOSP ROM so performance is top notch. Old build we reviewed has very good performance similar to this build. But as per the developer team, this build is more smoother than the before. By default, ROM runs on the adaptive 120Hz means when you doesn't touch the screen, it goes down to the 60Hz and rises to the 120 when screen is in use. If we enable the force 120Hz while developer setting, ROM constantly runs on the 120Hz except the camera application. Apps opening, closing, switching between applications, scrolling, all the things are just giving stunning experience of gliding user interface. When I ran the Geekbench 6 days, I got the score of 935 and 2916 for the single and multi-core respectively. For older build, results were 927 and 2846 respectively, which are slightly lower than the current build, so this ROM again generates first rank in the list of best performing ROMs. If you check the OpenGL graphics API performance score, it was 1806 and for Urban Graphics, I got the results of 2468. Both of these scores are nearly same as compared to the old build of the Paranoid Android and other custom ROMs. So ROM still ranks first in the numerical and real life performance in the list of custom ROMs for the Nothing Phone 1. Next I did one different test called as User Interface Jitter Test. Less the jitter value smoother the scrolling and swiping of the device. User e value below 0.5 millisecond considered as very good value for the jitter test. I have given the UI Bench application link under the video description for jitter testing of the ROM. For this ROM, jitter value range between 2 to 0.5 millisecond all the time. I tried to use some applications during the test, still jitter value stayed between this range, which is not best but considered as a good value. In the real life, scrolling and swiping is very good. It's very smooth without any jitter on this device. Now it's time to test the stability of CPU performance using the CPU throttle application. I ran the test on the 20 test for the 5 minutes. For first 3 minutes graph was went well without any performance drop. But immediately after 3 minutes all the things went down. Later all the yellow lines performance drop were persistent in the graph during whole the test. When I stopped the test I got the score of 73%. Old build has the same issue, there we got the similar score of 74% in the test. But this results has no proof of real life performance drop during day to day activities. You may only feel such performance drop when you try to use the CPU heavy intensity task like the gaming for the long time. This issue was persisting for all the Android 13 based custom ROMs and the stock nothing OS. 1.5.1 and above versions. Now it's time to show you the biggest addition in this build that is fully working Glyph user interface. Under the quick setting tile you guess the two different Glyph tiles. One is Glyph torch tile that gives us ability to use the Glyph as a torch. We can also use this as a flash while using the camera also. Next you guess the Glyph setting tile by using this you can directly jump under the Glyph setting. 
Glyph setting has all the settings like the flip to glyph, brightness slider, call, notification animations, toggle, battery level indicator and one more extra setting called as the music visualizer. Music visualizer also called as the disco lights. When you enable this and plays any media like videos or the music, who gets the glyph visualizer synchronized with the music which looks cool. Actually this was not originally implemented in the stock nothing OS also. To activate in the stock ROM we need to enable one trick that doesn't need here. Under the call animation now we get the lots of different glyph animation presets. All these have different animations but one thing is missing. These are only glyph animations these are not ringtones. We have to actually use different ringtones from the stock sound setting which are not synchronized with the glyph light like the stock nothing OS offers. Stock nothing OS has the glyph presets with the ringtones called as the machine 1 and machine 2. I think next update will add this ability. Similarly, we get the notification animated glyph presets. We get option to specifically enable or disable the notification glyph for all the users and system applications also. These are some of glyph notification presets. Flip to Glyph is also working here but sometimes it may not immediately pop up when you place the phone with the face down mode. Battery level indicator is also working but it doesn't have ability to wake up the Glyph indicator when you shake the phone instead of that it's showing the continuous blinking of battery indicator. Finally Paranoid Android team has first made the nearly fully functional Glyph for the custom ROM and in upcoming days it will be get more refined. Now let's check out the camera, ROM still didn't come with the nothing worse camera which is a big disappointment. It has the camera light application which is a basic app so I installed the Gcam 8.7 version. Now it has most of the things working like the night mode is working, portrait mode for the both the front selfie and the main camera are working with a good blur effect. Wide angle mode with the zoom effects are working. It has the HDR plus mode with the frame control. Video shooting has the 180p 60fps but the 4K 60fps recording has issue. When you try to shoot the 4K 60fps recording, it's not working. Time lapse video recording is working well. Panorama mode is working but photosphere mode has issue. It's getting blank when you try to use it. Now it's time to show you the bugs and the issues. Surprisingly all the issues are fixed right here. I didn't found any major bugs except the wide one security. It's still on L3, actually all the custom ROM has this issue, so you can't consider it as a deal breaking issue. Other issues regarding the camera and the glyph we already seen, which are minor. Finally, I can say the paranoid Android team has done amazing job and created this insanely superb ROM for nothing phone one, so hats off to the team. That's it for today guys, if you think this video helped you, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.